Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got my Easter Manny for 2018. I've started off with Neltik's Formula 2 and Zoya's Ziv, beautiful gold polish, and I've topped it with Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. I will be using a multitude of stampers today, and this You Are Beautiful 08 plate. I'll also be using the Super Chic Lacquer Awkward Turtle, and I'll be stamping with that one. And I will be also using Zoya's Blaze, Zoya Merida, and Zoya's Dream. And finally, I'll be using this Zoya called Aurora, and I'll be using these to fill in a st some stamped images. I'll also be using this Born Pretty Dark Green. And I didn't show it, but I'm also using the Nicole Diary Black Stampin' Polish. And there we go. I'm just picking up these little eggs and in the black and um, stamping them out. I'm going to make a whole bunch of them, and I'm going to make some decals. Uh, not really going to, I guess they're more reverse stamping than decals. And I'm using all kinds of stampers. Some of them have boo-boos in it, and some of them are okay. But I just figured for this, I could just plop out a whole bunch of them. And I have sped this up a um, little bit. Don't want y'all thinking I'm that quick. But I am just plopping about a whole bunch of those images out. And I am going to do this many on both hands so that um, you'll be able to see how this looks on long nails and short nails. And there we go. I think that is it for that part. We're going to start filling these in. I just put out a little piece of tape and I'm using all of those Zoya sparkly, you know, I guess they're considered scattered holographics. I've got some of those splotted out on some tape and I'm just using a little dotting tool and a big dotting tool to fill them in. And I have um, sped this part up too. I am not this quick. I have to be very careful because I'm not very neat when doing these sometimes. I decided this year instead of doing the normal pastels and stuff that I would just kind of, you know, jump outside my box and do something completely different. Something like I've never done before. And I decided I was going to use the gold as my base and kind of like the golden egg. And then use jewel tones for my my Easter eggs. And I, I think it turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. I know y'all haven't seen it yet, but hopefully you'll like it too. I'm also going to be stamping with that dark green here in a little bit. And then on top of it, using that awkward turtle, that crazy green hollow from Super Chic Laka. Oh, got some hollow some scattered, some linear. Now I'm going to take some of this super dry that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to dab over these. I'm going to let these dry and stamp them directly onto my nails, but I kind of wanted to do this step just in case that little thin black line around the eggs didn't want to transfer. I wanted some securities this time. Now I'm a little bit, okay, I'm a lot of bit off frame and I apologize. As you can see, I'm kind of struggling with it, but I want to make sure the whole thing transfers to my nail. And there we go. I did get it, and I'm going in for the second one. And now a third. You can kind of see what I'm doing a little bit. And I'm just applying those and mushing them down, making sure they're stuck really well. And here, I, even worse off camera. There we go. Get it, girl. But I'm just mushing these down onto my nails, and then we'll head on to the next step. That one kind of flipped in on itself. I'm going to save it though. Tapping them down. There we go. I'm going to be using this Bundle Monster Beaching Nails BMXL204 today for the grass. Um, there was a scene like this on the last plate, but I couldn't get it to pick up really nice. So I switched over to this one. And I'm going to stamp in the Born Pretty... Um, just that kind of, it's not really a like a forest green or a hunter green, but it's a dark green. I'm going to do it first, and then I'm going to go over top of it with that super chic, super chic, super chic lacquer, that hollow goodness, and just make it look like those eggs are sitting on some crazy hollow grass. Set some of that outside of the box stuff this year. <laughs> 
I only got to do one Easter Manny and I wanted to make it totally different. And I hope I achieved that. You'll have to let me know down in the comments what you think. And um, at first, I want you to know that when I do go to top coat these, you will um, see. At first, you're thinking they don't they don't really look all that good. But I'm telling you, top coat sometimes can be just magical. See, it's looking a little, you know what? What's going on here? I'm going to top this one with some posh top coat. I'm going to zoom you in so you can see what I'm talking about. But they look kind of funky until you add the top coat. And then those sparkly scattered hollows and the linear hollow on the grass starts singing. And for me, this just made it work. We're going to have a visit from Woody. Hi, Woody. So... That is my manicure. I hope you enjoyed this. I really would love to hear what you think. Leave me a comment down below. Here's what it looks like on my longer nails. And then a swatch photo of my shorter nails. And that is it. So thanks for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.